Hi, my name is Teresa Sincata, and welcome to set two of my video book critiques. For this critique, I have chosen Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans for my featured text. The genre of this book is poetry. Its grade levels are preschool through second grade, and it has won the Caldecott Book Award. The story of Madeline is about a little girl named Madeline, who lives with 11 other little girls in a house run by Miss Clavel. The story explains how they do the same things every day, like brush their teeth in two straight lines, or break their bread in two straight lines, or go to bed in two straight lines. Yet, one night, something happens that doesn't happen every day. The smallest one, Madeline, is crying up all night, and Miss Clavel wakes up and says something is not right. She runs over and finds Madeline crying and calls for a doctor. They take her to the hospital and find out that it is her appendix. Ultimately, Madeline gets her appendix removed and has to stay at the hospital for a little while. Later on, the rest of the girls and Miss Clavel come and visit Madeline in the hospital. They get to see the flowers she received, the toys she received, but most importantly, they get to see the big scar from her surgery. After that, they go home, and that night, they're all crying, and Miss Clavel wakes up and sees that something is not right. She runs over, and all the girls say, Boo-hoo, we want our appendixes out too. Miss Clavel laughs and says, thank the Lord that you are all right, and good night. The reason I have chose this book to be my featured text is because I think that you could do many different things with this book. First of all, it is poetry, so you could use it for a lesson with poetry. It also has incredible artwork in it that could be modeled after. And I believe that even though it is for preschool and second grade reading levels, it could most certainly be used in different classrooms as well. For my first lesson, I chose to do an art lesson. I use the National Core Art Standards for Visual Arts. The task I want the students to complete is to create their own artwork online. First, the students will have Madeline read to them, and then the art in Madeline will be discussed. Then last, the students will use Kidmon to paint pictures of their own. Since it is such a young grade level, I do not think that they should have a task that has to create pictures that are like the ones in Madeline. I just think that they should be able to create their own artwork. Using this website, Kidmons, I think that they should be able to use the different tools and just get a feel for what it would be like to make their own artwork online. It has different tools that have different textures, and I think it would be a good idea to talk about the different styles of art that they could use. Colored pencils, paint, markers, and so on and so on. Next, I have a literature slash English lesson. I use the ISTE standard 5B for this. The task is that the students will analyze Madeline and then write their own poems on Storybird. First, the students will read Madeline in groups as a class. Next, the students will discuss what makes Madeline poetry. Last, the students will use Storybird to make their own one-page poem. Storybird is a very interesting website where you can create books and poems using pictures and themes on the website. I have been able to make my own rationale for what I would want the students to make. I just think that they should make a one-page poem and not a story. How it works is that you are given a picture that you can choose on your own, and then you are given words, and then you make a poem out of them. I believe that poetry is very important for students to learn, and I believe that by creating their own poems, they can deepen their intellect. Some other texts that I've read for this book set are Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. This picture book tells the story of a chicken who can't help but interrupt her father's bedtime story. Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin. A hilarious picture book about a cow who goes about cows that go on strike using a typewriter to communicate with their farmer. Where the Wild Things Are by Marie Sendick. A wild story about a kid named Max who imagines a world where he's king of the wild things. A Chair for My Mother by Vera B. Williams. A Chair for My Mother is an exciting story about a girl, her mom, and grandma who work her hard to buy a chair for their house. Do You Want to Be President by Judith St. George. This humorous book gives some tips on what it's like and what to do in order to be president. It also has very interesting artwork. The Judge by Harvey Zemack. The Judge is a poetic tale that speaks of a judge who locks up the citizens because he doesn't believe their stories of a terrible creature 
that's coming to town. Last I read Duke Ellington by Andrea Davis Pinckney. It is a colorful tale that tells the story of Duke Ellington, who is a ragtime artist. The best part about this book is that the story, when you read the story, it sounds as if it's a ragtime song. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you at my next video. Bye!